You can tell by my tires that not everybody who's driven with me is still alive. Also, that I like my drinks neat, bottled, and in a bus stop. Also, that we're drowning in precinct paper, department store floor plans, and applications to the moon. We can change the color of our snot from gifted to heart attack and tell you about ashes, but where are all these angels coming from smelling like the cigarette that fills? And why is the man on the safe side of these headlights freezing up? You got nothing to say at my funeral, I'll speak on your behalf. Heroin in my smile. Mountain made a flatland robbery among some things on my mind. The last store run in the name of shared afterlife Friday to the filter. I'm a tall tale on earth. But here's to that angel that never appeared to America. In a night of dog paddle. In a batch of hangovers looking for a home. You know, a liar wouldn't live this long. And yeah, that's my human when fences speak. Hold a pair of rambling dice that have unique tempers and young souls that say shut up about our city. I hear title months crash over a coast while loud. The street's teeth are in pieces. There's reservoir art on the faces of stragglers. There's sad news from back home that mean we have to grow up on his behalf. Stumble back to a car full of last stand. The truth is stale but still liquor. Mission Street would be proud of me. I'm a mural man, uh, almost organized. Remember when my lungs would wake up last walking all morning? If it was worth it, man, I'm three decades homeless. And reservoir art is all I ever see. And I'm 2,000 miles from my first fight. Maybe no one really survived. Maybe I wrote my first poem for no reason. A tour guide through your robbery, he also is. Cigarette saying, look what I did about your silence. Ransom water and box spring gold, this decade is only for accent grooming, I guess. Ransom water and box spring gold, the corner store must die. War games, I guess, all these tongues from his junk. The start of mass destruction begins and ends in restaurant bathrooms that some people use and other people clean. Are you telling me it's a rag in the sky? Waiting for you, yeah. Uh, we've written a scene, we set a stage. You know, we should have fit in warehouse jobs with a communist, but now more corridor and hallway have walked into our lives. Now the whistling is less playful and the barbed wire overcrowded too. My dear, if it is not a city, it is a prison. If it has a prison, it is a prison, not a city. You know, when a courtyard talks on behalf of a military issue, all walks take place outside of the body. Dear life to your left, a medieval painting to your right, you know, none of this really makes an impression. Crop people living in thin air, you have five minutes to learn how to see through this bridge. And when a mask goes sideways, barbed wire becomes the floor, barbed wire becomes the roof, 40 feet into the sky becomes out of bounds. When a mask breaks in half, mind which way the eyes go. You know, they killed the world for the sake of giving everyone the same backstory. We're watching Gary, Indiana fight itself into the sky. Old oh, pennies for wind, for that wind feeling you get before the hood goes up and over your headache. Pennies that stick together, mocking all aspirations. I mean, stuck together pennies was the first newspaper I ever read, along with the storefront dwelling army that always lets us down. Where the Holy Spirit favors the back room, souls in a situation that offer a hundred ways to remain a loser. Souls watching a clock, hoping their eyes don't lie to sad people. What was we talking about again? The narrator asked the graveyard, at 10 minutes flat, said the graveyard. The funeral only took 10 minutes. They never tell that to anyone again. You just gonna pin the 90s on me? All 30 years of them? Then why should I know the difference between sleep and satire? The pyramid of corner stores fell on our heads, man. We died right away. That building wants to climb up and jump off another building. These are downtown decisions. Somewhere on this planet, it's August 7th, and we running down the rest thinking one more needs to come with me, man. What evaporated on Earth so that we could be sent back down? A conductor of minds in a citywide symphony, waving souls to sing. He also is. You know, apparently too much of San Francisco was not there in the first place. So this dream requires more condemned Africans to put another way, state violence rises down. Or <clears throat> still life is just getting warmed up. Or army life is looking for a new church and ignored all other suggestions. Or Folktale writers have not made up their minds as to who is going to be their friends. Uh, you know, this is the worst downtown yet, and I've borrowed a cigarette everywhere. I've taken many a walk to the back of a bus that led on out the back of a storyteller's prison sentence, then on out the back of slave scars, but this is my comeback face. I left my watch on the public bathroom sink and took the toilet with me. Threw it at the first bus I saw, eating single mothers half alive. It flew through the bus line number, then on out the front of the White House. And hopefully you find comfort downtown, but if not, we brought you enough cigarette filters to make a decent winter coat, a special species of handshake. Let's all know who's king. 
And what's the lifespan of uniform clock? You know, this coffin needs to quit acting like those are birds singing. Rusty nails have no wings, have no voice other than that of a white world dying. Their book pages in the gas pump. Catchy, isn't it? The way three nooses is the rule, or the way potato sack masks go so well with radio codes, or the way condemned Africans fought their way back to the ocean only to find waves made of 1920s burnt up piano parts, European backdoor deals, and red flowers for widows who spend all day in the sun mumbling in San Francisco. Red flowers, but what's the color of a doctor visit? There are book titles in the streets. Book titles like Hero, You'd Make a Better Zero, or Hey, Fur Coat Lady, the President is Dead, or Pay Me Back in Children, or They Hung Up Their Bodies in Their Own Museums, and other book titles pulled from a drum solo, Run Here, Hero. Lie at the hiding place. All the bullets in 10 precincts know where to go. There's no heaven nor any other good idea in the sky. Politics means that people did it and people do it. I understand that when in San Francisco and other places that was never really there. I bet this ocean thinks it's an ocean, but it's not. Shit, it's just Sixth Dimension Street. I all know who's king. King of thin things. You know, like America, I'm proud to deserve to die. I'm gonna eat my dinner extra slow tonight in this police state candy dispenser you all call the neighborhood. No set of manners goes unpunished. Never mind the murderer's insomnia or the tea kettle preparing everyone for police violence. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Shit, man, when a drummer is present, they are God. You know, I am not an I. I am a black commons. I'm writing my new tattoo out on bus station, glass making tattoos all afternoon, trying to talk myself into seeing the decade through. You know, I must really be the devil's front man, standing at an empty bus that I imagine, in fact, carries paintings of people. And a man drunk behind the wheel has to choose between a black and white toddler after school in America on a California street that doesn't need a name nor California. Nobody on the street has a job and therefore no one is there. And I colored my oppressor's gun and dance floor for him in the same day. The joke began. The walk on the bus seats is fine by me as long as I get to the front. The joke concluded. And Tuesday is rotten soup, a downhill entertainment, a commotion in the ashtray, the day that jail quotas get filled or the day that the planet plays flat. And maybe the capitalist sets stadium seats on fire and calls it economic progress. Communist got plenty of time to finish his cigarette and lie to his boss. A killer lying down in front of a tank. I have a small statue built in my chest and also an anchor upside down in the air. Worried about the walls, I forgot that the ceiling was closing in on me too. It's my take on my alcoholism. <laughs> I'm hunched over a meal I ate five years ago. It's my take on the look on my face. And shit, cursed God a little, took another step up the staircase and for a second forgot all occupants of the world beginning with this house. I'm an action hero of one street proportion. You know, rap music is the way to count blessings. The 80s were better than this fiction. I have a piece of fence messed through my skull. I'll be half eaten my entire life, always walking beside myself with a gun in my head and another one pointed at passersby, walking in and out of myself. But you know, I'm always happy to see you. Shit, what a miraculous route you took through my threat. Honest pay is a knife in my arm. Honest pay in my chest, a broken lock on a monument. Tell you the truth, I forget what my hands look like, what I did with them, or what kind of third eye the handcuffs cut into my wrist. There were hammers in my cradle, which made some people scared to check on me, because God would have a devil in State Street, would have a resurrection, and I'd be a menace, man. Menace to veins, veins that the city protects with precinct flesh. You know people actually work in Mary here? The sun actually comes up. Have you heard the one about ghetto dwellers? Bang, they all duck, man. Well, look what the heathen drug in, man. What is that, my bully? Who is that, your son? Have you heard the one about last names? Did you know that late night talk is the car door to the soul? I don't think we've been here before in some type of criminal heaven, controlling every headlight for miles. If the journey has pain, it's the way I came. My name is on this sea. Royalty among mimes would be my right hand, or it'd be a brand new hammer, a wolf traveling at the speed cities in. Interpretations of shot men. You know, hands are the only place souls are actually found. If fists get a road trip too, maybe you should mind me. Or maybe I paid too much attention to this black coat as I was growing up in a wrong lit room. At least the walls was nice, guys. At least I had this sea. At least I got this ocean when her words freeze and central time is up. When my family relapsed in the suicidal neighborhoods and can't depend on me. When black children are sad, when there are guns everywhere, when death is here and I'm a new kind of nearsighted and she's a new kind of lovely death is. Rice of front yard passes, people getting beat up. I say I'm not paranoid enough. You got a taste for violence. I've winked at three funerals. The Lord gave his only begotten temper to me. Death knows me by nickname. I call her nothing cute. Lord, let me see the enemy in my circle. Let me see that the enemy is my circle. Let my circle kill me. Let me not stay dead. See, I know who I am down to the street signs. Streets pass my life back and forth. Pass me under gambling 
other jokes and cigarettes, and here I am thinking this is what you call driving at night. Or this is what you call 35 miles away. Freeway and all smeared all over city. Tell me how you write letters with a building on top of your head. With a building feasting on you. With a thousand backs turned to your kids without her subtle gesture to interpret in the middle of a backfired resurrection with a president who was out to kill you, you said. I only got one gun to speak of still. I sleep good in August and nobody talks back in traffic. An interestingly handsome best. It had to match the violence on me. Okay, I had no song. Motherless, though less of a child, Project Tiles become tires, choir suck down liquor, five floors become audience for a dancing killer. You just a dancing killer. Midwater walk out line all over the state. I've seen a bullet become a cheapskate. Bodies in a bargain, handsome but hard in prison air, Spanish sales, black as well, run teller by my level. And what you see me do to water, and what you see me do to men, the last of a dying group of friends, man, another city end. See, we had the funeral in the garage, but I think he was long gone. A narrator on distant rooftops smoking with new friends. From beyond the vigil skyline, serious footwork can be seen, especially when loose acquaintances look at the candles and flowers with opera violence on their minds. You know, introducing you to the colony when the concrete was in its prime and not for shuffles. Two different dates shared the same daylight. We slow walk from the corner store into a flashback, dust doing most of the talking, talking about weird wars on the streets and whoever's fixing the drinks tonight. Whoever is must be suicidal because there is a chessboard underneath these tough guys. From beyond the vigil's jungle is the easy side of autobiography. You know, a pretty interesting place to start a war from. Front yards are for having problems with the world. You know, it's an easy range for the angel, everything under the sun. That's right. I could cut my throat with the sun. Say, hold your breath on my street if that's what you've always done. I tell you what his eyes say. They say all dust eventually has to be human. In his pockets is winter already, knuckled in wrist and psalm. In street green letters, here lies in half asleep, young skin and tattered. Page one, page one. All staircases are open air and will be the first to talk if the poor so will it. Page two, just pieces of subtitle, mouths talk last. Page three, someone's dead already, shit. Someone has taught him a sign. Page four, every system is suicidal. The poor so will it. Hey, bus loops its roof last stop already. Man, let me sleep again. It's all a staircase here, and I remember when we were eye to eye with the lowest branch. Crying breath into the hand of an avenue, our shirts made somewhere in the land of first hand. Trash wasn't yet trash, running away really isn't running away. Shoes would witness an informal prayer. Something like, I know you see me, what should I call you? I'll never be anything that you need to forgive. And we have been to heaven years ago. You know, heaven becomes our street shoulders, which are his, which is a homegrown cadence on a city bus, rubber, and brief eyes. Man, he was the, the saint of strays, you know. The first story you learn in San Francisco. See, moving with Sly the Street, which is his. My little brother Sly is the smoke sister. <coughs> a lot of God can happen in three seconds. <laughs> Not much. Not much heaven, though. <laughs> uh, here is a man before a fight, you know, a leave me alone type character, emerging from the penniless death of a one-way street fiction. That's a fancy way of saying I'm gonna make it even if I have to drive backwards. And all I got is chord changes and a thousand backhands, driving the street like I'm choking in a car full of nephews. Hasn't been a sun since November, and there hasn't been a street I can't choke to death. This city better back down. Hey, you see this gun on the table? And something about staring until it all feels stable. Why wouldn't I protect everyone on my death sleep late? My son better be quick. My daughter better shoot first because we fall for no one. You know, we fall for nothing. Okay, the first thing you'll feel is the heat. This lady would tell me, uh, telling me about possession. A drink life need is what I mostly hear. Most of the world leaves me alone to breathe small like a giant to go to jail every once in a while when the genocide kicks up in late May when politicians have too, too easy a time. I'm gassing backwards out of one way street in honor of myself, shit. And in honor of you, if you understand the nature of the world. How long I've been just like my father, one hell of a resemblance, says the anxiety of the neighborhood. This is a crossroads or a crossroads near. But some of us crossroads, people get in the habit of turning back. Turn back only to find themselves, you know, remembering me. But not my last words, a man before a fight to feel the heat. But there's nothing to keep in mind. There's nothing to remember. Really, there's nothing to be. Just this moment, then another, then stare, then it all becomes stable. Then the table legs go fuzzy and Fridays, an unfamiliar face peeking in the window. Hey, it's cool to panic for a second. Composure is wasted on your worst enemies. People are marked on that sidewalk. You're the only thing life size. Everybody knows it's in a wire hanger empire. When the blood stops walking, that feeling isn't father enough to be permission to fold. You better swing one more time. Shit, that father of yours rose from the grave and said, just give me five more minutes. He said, running water is a myth. It's us who are running up, down, and all alongside this water. And people don't rise from the grave. You know, they not laid down neither. It's us who flip all around their bodies. So beware when the people around you look like they about to jump. <coughs> It might be your time. You'll feel the heat. And, and when four walls demand to be four walls and the earth outside mutes, don't panic. 
No, don't try to recreate the earth outside. Don't tell jokes to yourself. Don't even talk disrespectfully to the four walls. Instead, unclench your fists and walk away. There might be heaven. If you understand the nature of the world. <laughs> the end. <laughs> these days, but I'm gonna really be able to talk in between the poems, man, you know. <laughs> I'm really like, <laughs> it's, it's just too hard to transition, you know, it's like trying to talk from two different parts of your mind, you know, it just don't work. <clears throat> Uh, from a two-floor skyline, an abandoned house talked to me. It, it said, young man, you are heroic and 10 years old. Among 20 generations of friends, you know, shit, friends will free fall away. They'll free fall the walls. You know, free fall up to, with like fifth grade speed to industrial paint. You know, young man, I want you to use quick knife tones, be bone and brass, be last laugh music. You're always leaving. Always want to change your clothes from the door of life and escape. A two floor skyline said, You're the guy that dies in the middle. The friend more blues than skin. The face that cheap hotel schizophrenics can place. With 90 mile per hour, right eyes among dry heat killers. Once children, three feet high and roaming and repeating and, and, and aiming at cotton mirrors that hang on breathing walls. You were 10 years old, tagging along, yawning at well-lit violence, whistling tool shop songs. You will be useful and you will be hiding alone, flying on a nephew dragon from a, from a $20 family in the sky that calls itself just more soil. Around walls that are just walls, except these walls suggest you make wives out of highs and currency. Here the air is polite to sleepy glass and bullying walls. A young man, you will come to admit that sometimes suicide is power. Because some people live stronger as ghosts. And sometimes the afterlife empties. Billions of souls enter objects like playground bullets and abandoned door frames. Even broken glass will prove it has voice, too. You know, there are 24 hours behind your back. Look over your shoulder right now. Can you hear it? The sound of drums punching themselves out. The sound of piano parts learned in between assassination attempts be bone and brass. Be bone enough for two souls, be invincible again. Suffer red-eyed accents, professional fingertips, gifted victims, six in the morning beer, the first month of probation, the shout at the wall, see these words that shouldn't be home. Look behind you again, you know, be invincible again. Be windward, be a sad machete, be her son, be a thief, steal his back, laugh too long and never look away. The afterlife will empty and walk you home. You know, if you reverse the car any farther, you will run over all the scenes in the back of your mind. I never cared for teachers, just the patterns of their fainting spells. You know. uh, fainting spells induced by wall art. You know. All that to say propaganda is courage. You know. The price sticker hides my tattoo. I treasure my problem with the world. My mother becomes from Brooklyn first thing in the morning. That's a proverb. You know. Proverb around these parts. Proverb of peasant entrance password, writing short notes to famous Europeans on the back of postcards with ransom requests. They reply with a newsreel or a cigarette announcement. I can't tell the difference. Noble dollars, then you die inside, but only inside, they call it. They call it sleeping deeper than your stalker, and stalker is all that badge makes you. Says the great spirit dressed in the bloody rags tuxedos became. Meanwhile, my punch is feared by no one. <laughs> Proud of yourself, I ask my fret hand. Porch lights is what they call our guns. I've seen this house in a dream, man. I believe a trumpet was the first possessed object to fly. Keep going, she cheers. The draft in the room becomes a toddler. A toddler obsessed with an altar. The altar becomes a runaway train. I mean, I got a thousand paintings like these cascading down my skinny arms. The dictionary's piled up to the window bars. A reminder to the population that your blanket can work with or against you. Human reef. I mean, we'll be a big human reef for concepts that finally gain a metaphysical nature and they will swim around our beautiful poses. We stop being flashbacks, then stop being three different people, and then I was alone. The pistol one city away. One of the drug triangles lines runs through my head. I tap the bottle twice and consider the dead refreshed. Hey, don't you want to rest your bravery? 
Now, don't you want to be a coward for a little bit? Back and forth to a panic attack with no problems nor fears. A man gets a facial expression finally. A Friday finally goes his way. His life is finally talked about happily in his head. I mean, I can't possess the body of a hermit. I must be the last of the smoke. Now running the other way with three blocks of alley tucked under my arms. You ever see a man get to the bottom of his soul in a car ride down a missing cousin street? A half step to the right. I mean, I took the whole car outside of history. Half step to the right. I mean, a whole pack of wolves stepped to my left. Road marker is what I call the light bulb we have for a son. A whole civilization might slink to the sink or a chain gang shuffling next to a sucker. <laughs> also known as the long look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> a stack of money starts talking from four cities away. Man, I'm off to make a church bell out of a bank window. See, kitchens meant more to the masses back in the day, and before that, we had no enemy. Man. You know, somewhere in America, the prison bus is running on time. You're going to lose your job before a revolution hit. And somewhere I won't be home for breakfast. Everyone out here now knows my name, and I won't be turned against for at least four months. The cop in the picket line is a hard-working rookie. The sign in my hands is getting more and more laughs. It says, the picket line got cops in it. I said, I got to take care of those windows for you if you want, but someone else got to go inside your gas tank. Hey, it was clear to the man that rich people had talked too much this year. Hey, why don't you go ahead and throw down that marble park bench everyone's looking up at? You know, get the Romans out of your mind. And maybe a good night's sleep would have changed the last 20 years of my life playing the instruments like punching the wall. What would you have me do? Replace the population? Give brotherhood back to the winter? Stop smoking cigarettes with the barely dead? You know, they listen in on the Sabbath. Police called the police on me. There was a white candlestick beneath my detention. I ruined the soup again, thought the judge as he took off his pilgrim robe behind the white people's door and more. I didn't get lucky. I got what was coming to me, he told. Say, fight me back, the man said. Of course, you know, to himself. Washing windows with a will to live. Tin can on his left shoulder, enjoying the bright brand new blight with all party goers, both supernatural and supernaturally down to earth. Say, man, what is this elevator traveling side to side? Like 1,000 bit of Polaroid pictures that you actually try to eat all the furniture on this street nailed to the cement. You know, cheap furniture, but we have commitment. And this morning, an essay opens the conversation between enemies. Why? Because you control every grain of processed sugar between here and the poor man's border. Because in the tin can on my left shoulder, I can hear the engines of deindustrialization. Man, you should get in a painting, you know, tell lies more deeply. Hey, this month, I'm rooting for the traitor, carting cement to my pillow. Here we will build. I mean, I'm high again. Not talking much. Hey, why don't you climb up the organ pipe to our apartment floor? I'm high again. <laughs> Calling everything church, singing along to a courtyard, thanks to a horn player's holy pastime. I mean, I'm just really just putting a real jacket on it, you know. Talking about a real five years. You know, shit, keep memories like these in the pocket next to the toll receipt. You know that man lost a wager with the God of good causes? I mean, stood up for himself a little too late. Shit, maybe too early. I could still see 20 angles of his jaw zigzagging through the cold world of deindustrialization. Man, there is an art to it. I would tell my closest friends one day. Or put it another way. <laughs> now, real, real quick, man. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> no. In conclusion, <laughs> capitalists dropped 10 tons of barbed wire onto my Tuesday shift. We shot back at their chimpanzee pilot for the sport. The contractor has already smoked three cigars only one hour into my court appearance shift. Supervisor likes the smell, says it reminds him of when he ran the streets, and all I remember is we shot back. A gated puppet dances alone, bars and jigs, says I'm the happy one of Legion. Meanwhile, kids commit <laughs> childhood behind his wooden plaster joints, you know, wire dodgers under this silly puppet, a silly puppet dancing for white heaven. <clears throat> like weapon is a jacket and precinct holds Friday hostage, we go through a fossil jaw and see a judge. The tunnel at the end of the light. I sleep until woke by dry cereal and surrender. This holding cell only needs a giant panhandler's palm to shake us coin men around. 
I'm breaking my sis, uh, breaking my fingers for my sister's bill collectors. Garage casket open, I mean all third world parallels kill openly. Breaking my lungs for my sister's rent. I am the sculptor of construction dust. I miss cigarettes by mid-morning. I miss Hennessy by sundown. I miss murder by inches. Five dollar bills, cherish my days outside, always behind. There's no concentration in this courtroom. Just a bunch of B plus students living out their nightmares. And how do I plead with a straight face? Two blocks up is a reoccurring cliff, along with slavers paraphernalia, along with an ordinary panhandler, along with ethnic parade history, along with the ethnic parade, along with 13th graders. But you know, let's talk about the fact that four dead children later, I still don't have a problem beating you up in front of everybody. And let's talk about the fact that money is death. Down to my last five bucks is what I call this shoe. 10 o'clock political education is what I call this dream. I got the job is what I call this blues. Two days later is what I call a clip. Hey, uh, capitalists eat until the world is blurry to them. These streets is made of saliva. You know, some people are made of saliva too. They usually got on uniforms. <laughs> While a crazy man spins round and round trying to make a record out of this mass production jungle, maybe I'll join them, count cash, and cry. These streets is made of saliva and white sheets are worn by a building in which kids are supposed to learn how to read well. And white sheets on the highway too. Another mayor needs their head on the pike. One down is just one down, but if you tell all this to the masses, your teacher will pipeline you. They told me I was jewelry. They told me this is jungle. Well, maybe not jungle, more like 50 machine guns planted in the ground. It's raining faces again in California. What does this say about heaven? What does this say about the people you killed? Uh, waiting lines got so exhausted, a million minds dropped all these faces at once. If the fastest can read the lips of a giant talking in his sleep, man, we might as well make our demands in prison letters. And today was born the most important trigger finger in the world. You know, today, I begun counting down the days between, uh, you know, now and a pile of books by a tunnel. You know, Chicago is going to walk out of Chicago one day. <laughs> Babies that drag street signs like old toys. Uh, today, the most important letter left prison. Uh, babies are laughing flags like faces that have disappeared. Maybe I'll join them. But for now, these streets are made of saliva, and we raise half full glasses <laughs> to the basements that meant nothing. <laughs> and the working poor who live there, we get shot. We get white sheets on California, where the kitchen table likes to talk as much as the walls. And romance on the porch consists of hard residing. I mean, in this picture, characters talk spit and know that they are hard to kill. The kitchen table knows this. The porch is almost convinced that one down is just one down. You know, this town is coming to town. A circus watching itself, half distracted, half suicidal, thrilled children dressed as cops, thrilled children preaching and policing and intaking and hiring and snatching your money. This town's coming to town with tough trademarks to follow today. I watch capitalism walk on water. <laughs> and people play dead so that they could be part of a miracle. <laughs> Guided by teeth goes this country. There is a cow's mouth on the flag. A peculiar notepad holds street life dear, but the writer's not here. He's somewhere talking to tombstones about the good old days or splashing reborn water on his latest face or wondering how his old gun is doing in the afterlife. You know, wondering how much death trap is in those gas station hours. It gotta be a million dollars a day on this concrete island. New engine in the moon, why it never goes down. I mean, 72 straight hours of night, at least according to everyone's posture around here. 8.30 in the morning is really 30 minutes to closing. The city shuts down for a sleepy rat race. Elevator shoe shuffle to the nearest heaven, laughing with rats the whole way up. There are scabs everywhere, in puddles of city, in concentrated schools and TV lit warm rooms, you know the light reveals military fatigue when it hits just right on the ties that are wrapped around the necks of lazy white guys. Hey, empire is too easy, baby. Chan at the walls or some if you feel like it. The best way for a target to move is shooting back. You know, running for a tree line made of freeways. Wisdom says, against a war machine on Tuesday, you stand no chance. But may we be the last poor men to play it safe. Cow's mouth on the flag. A politician raises his hand and the crowd shows their teeth. An oligarch raises his hand and little girls are not safe outside. You are all high depressed and comrades in function. In 15 minutes of closing in the city has survived another black rebellion. We just paying dues by trash fires not just anybody can set. And hey, don't you love how deadly things whisper in the moment and people kill like feathers fall while everybody's screaming inside? The writer knows that death is not a matter of dignity, rather humor. In a house that smells like roach races, nuclear percentages on torn stoves. I mean, here life never was. 
It's just lazy matches and manic inhumanity, hands rushing away from life, toward stalls. Man, what are we doing here? Surviving for no reason in particular, because nobody gone far today. Nobody will go far tomorrow. Trust me, hell and heaven cannot count. Strange gardens where secondhand clothes play, and concrete wishes to be human so that it could be a cannibal. Where they find you drenched, and drains wish to be human so that they could be worthy arms for you to die in. Hey, greet them all, grandson. You know, prepare for the day when every child is common. Don't say we ghosts didn't write you a poem. Hey, don't say we didn't dig your life. Remember the shotgun by the coat rack that everybody in the house knows how to use? Remember the tightrope made of needles for walking in between driveways and man-made best friends? Go ahead, grandson. Two in the street again. Never mind this country kills musicians first. Broken neck nights, scarred neck life. If these walls could write lyrics, they say, what's your angle, angel eyes? 30 to 50 rounds pass by on the street with no daughters. This street has no sons, just young prisoners of war in a racist city that means to make capital. And we know so much. We know it all. We were stood against walls. Who's on the third cross around here? Cow's mouth salivating over the street. And that, <laughs> that is the story. Of why we aim at teeth.